So I thought I would make a video today. I haven't made a video in a while about my newest acquisition in my spiritual repertoire. Um, this is my beautiful Santa Muerte statue I ordered from Mex Mass on eBay. Um, it comes straight from Mexico, handmade. It was a very reasonable price. It was, I think I paid like $25 for it. The whole thing with the shipping and everything was $39, um, which is a real bargain because when you walk into the uh, botanicas and stuff like that, you could probably easily pay twice, three times as much for the same statue because it's so popular now. Um, it's something that I manifested after months of consideration. I actually had a drawing on the wall, which everything in the craft, in prayers, in any spirituality or religion is really about intent. And I always said if I was ever going to work with Santa Morte, that I would do it, you know, first by thinking and, you know, watching videos. And this is after months and months of consideration, months and months of many different kinds of dreams, uh, months and months of getting physically touched and during meditation and once once or twice where I actually levitated. So she's finally here. And many people will say, do not put her in your bedroom. But I found that when I put her in my yoga room with all my other altars, her energy and her presence really is um, larger than life, shall I say. And I have my main altar uh, with St. Martin de Porres, who is a very humble, 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 kind, selfless saint. Um, it's just, uh, I found that um, when I put her altar, this the little um, converted bar stool thing that I have going on, I've I reuse things. I repurpose things. So that's what it is. It works for me. Anyway, um, I felt like the energy go out of the room with everything else and my sauna, you know, and all the other things. And I couldn't see myself working out, you know, and or getting in and out of my sauna without my clothes on in front of this statue. So I took it out. It was very unusual. Like I felt almost could see you know, in my mind's eye, St. Martin's face looked the other way. Um, and you know, I, I got the impression like she needs her own space. So here she is in my room. Uh, and it works for me. This particular color is supposed to be blue. It looks like pretty like sea foamy blue green, which also works for me because I like mermaids. So the color works for me. Blue is supposed to be the color for wisdom and healing. Uh, your blue Santa Muerte is very good for students, anyone studying for exams, you know, people looking for deep insight. And the original color that first came to me was red. But I had seen this one on eBay and it looked so pretty. And I was like, okay, I am going to just finally get a statue. My husband is like, you can see why some people don't like it. It's like it's death sigh. And I was like, you know what? It didn't really bother me. Um, actually, when I meditate, sometimes Santa Marte doesn't always appear to me as a skeleton. So it's all good. And you know, when you're a nurse in a nursing home and you're dealing with death and stuff like that, I figured... Why not work with Saint Death? So, this form works for me. I've had her in my room, um, and I immediately calm down and feel better when I come in here. I sleep a lot better, and so I have, you know, that she's got some nice little pretties and stuff like that, and there's the globe, and... There is a, the owl, you know, underneath 
underneath um, you can see the owl and the milagros and you know things like that I won't overturn it to show you because I have her set up real nice I didn't smoke the altar or anything like that but this is my ancestor plate from my other altar with my crystal skull and my um, you know American money and my Trinidad money and my shells from various beaches uh, some are from TT uh, and my lodestones and my old picture of Santa Muerte that I had in my work badge forever um, some roses, there's cinnamon and whatnot on here. Uh, and, you know, I use this plate for meditating and stuff like that. And, you know, attraction. And um, my Fernandez Black Label rum from Trinidad and Tobago and my cup of water. And I'm good. And today I'll probably I do some cigar smoke. And I, I blessed her head with some frankincense oil, pure frankincense oil you know, in my oil stash over there. And, uh, um, went to spray the altar down with my holy gun, Gan Ganges water that I have with thing, some oils mixed in there and blow some cigar smoke on her and clean out my yoga room. And, you know, I have my, uh, all my, was I'll show you. All right. Don't mind the laundry. I'm cleaning today. It's my day off. I just stepped on the cat. Did you get that? Um, I scale things down a little bit. You see how pretty it looks. St. Martin's very happy. Um, you know, I realized like those two, I, I kind of knew it wouldn't work uh, having her up in the corner there and, and then my peaceful... St. Martin de Porres, Our Lady of Perpetual Help altar um, together because those saints are just two. To me, it's like the complete polar opposite of energies. And, you know, since I, I like to work with stuff like that, I just figured, and I'm redoing things. I went back to the purple altar cloth for my Sacred Woman altar because I'm doing Gate Ray Zero again. I just got this St. Joseph's statue yesterday at the hospital gift shop um i'm gonna bless that and blow some cigar smoke on that and my working altar those are some cards i pulled this morning um seven of wands and temp a temperous mother peace tarot card and i have candles i used to light to santa Muerte for various things but and i'll still light those in here because i do not want to light candles at all in my bedroom and so that's what I'm doing this morning. Today's my day off. I'm still resting and recovering from my severe um, anxiety attack that I had that, that was a life-changing event for me. Um, I'll make a video about that pretty soon. I may have to make another video about why I left Sacred Woman to go back to therapy and how spirit is just leading me down a completely different path to healing and wholeness and I'll be checking in later. Thank you.